channel in today's video I have another fun fragrance video today I'm going to be sharing some fragrances from royalty scents you guys know I worked with them last month and every month I'm going to be bringing to you guys a few scents that I am trying out to tell you a little about royalty scents let you know my opinion and maybe introduce some new scents to you guys that you'd be interested in trying so if you'd like to see what I received this month please keep watching Okay, so Royalty Sense is a subscription service and it's none other like any subscription service I'd ever heard about. They actually specialize in niche fragrances, designer fragrances, and really like hard to find fragrances. So a lot of the times these are not going to be scents that you can find at your Macy's. Definitely more luxury scents that are a little harder to find. So this is perfect for the person who is still in quarantine. <laughs> or maybe you live in a place where you don't have access to these certain fragrances. Or maybe you're just a fragrance aficionado and you like trying out different scents. So Royalty Scents has five plans to choose from. Starting at just $19.95 a month, they have an individual plan which gives you one fragrance a month with a free travel case. You get eight milliliters of fragrance, which I'm gonna show you what the fragrance actually looks like. It's a great amount of fragrance. You can get basically a month worth of sprays even if you are a heavy sprayer. They also have a shared plan which gives you and your guy or you and your girl or whoever one fragrance each a month. They also have an annual plan where you pay up front and you get a little bit of a discount and then they have a shared annual plan which is for two people every month for a whole year. Now there are no contracts. You can cancel anytime. It's very flexible but I love the fact that this company enables you to try out some different type of scents that you may not be able to try at the fragrance counter and also sometimes if you're like myself it takes you forever to get through an entire fragrance bottle I don't think I've ever finished an entire bottle of fragrance in my life so I really like royalty scents because you can try something new every month without the huge commitment of sometimes a three or four hundred dollar bottle of fragrance because some of their fragrances can get quite expensive so I'm going to leave royalty scents website down below and information about the different plans but let's get into the fragrances I received this month I have four scents that I'm gonna share with you guys and honestly these are all perfect summer fragrances as you guys know I live in Atlanta it is hot and it is very humid and not only because I'm inside this summer but sometimes I just want a lighter crisp fragrance that doesn't feel heavy and make me feel sticky because it feels sticky the moment I walk outside so the first scent that I'm gonna share with you guys is eccentric molecule 02 this scent I first heard about from I can't remember her name but it's a newer channel that I subscribe to she is the fragrance queen I'm going to link her channel down below and she spoke about this fragrance being just heavy beautiful high class and just smelling like quality and I love a good scent like that because I feel like the more you get into fragrance the more you want to veer away from the common sense that you're gonna run out into the world and everybody smells like now that is no diss to anyone who likes your regular run-of-the-mill fragrance but I think the more you get into fragrance sometimes you just want to smell a little unique so this fragrance right here definitely does that eccentric molecules zero to. So this is your eight milliliters of fragrance and your travel case. You simply twist it up and pull your fragrance out or you can leave it in the atomizer to spray it. Now I have tried all these out but in these videos I like to spray them again just so you guys can get my first impression like how it was when I smelled it. Now I will tell you my first impression of this scent was very androgynous. I was expecting something a little more feminine. I'm not sure why. So to me, this smells herbal, androgynous. It's a very fresh scent, but it's not aquatic. It's more of just like an herbal, nice, just really nice herbal scent. It's perfect for the spring and summer. I would say this is perfect for hot weather. A man or a woman could wear this and smell really nice. The only con I have about this fragrance is that the projection is not amazing and it did not last a long time on my skin. I don't know if it's because I sweat so much or because I live in such a hot, humid climate, but a fragrance's longevity really plays into how much I want that fragrance because I'm not someone who likes to spray during the day. Even though I have my royalty scent, like travel size fragrance, I'm not someone who wants to bring this with me if I don't have to. Now there is an exception if I really love the scent, then I will pop it in my bag, but more often than not I don't like to reapply anything but my lipstick so I really wasn't impressed with the longevity of this scent but it is beautiful 
This almost smelled like something I've smelled at Abercrombie. Not that I've ever actually bought anything from the store, but that deep herbal kind of masculine vibe, but bordering on unisex, just a fresh, nice scent. I wouldn't necessarily call it sexy, but it's a nice, fresh, robust scent, but I just wish it had a better lasting power. Okay, my next scent is none other than Maison Francis Kirk Jean Aqua Universalis. And you guys, when you do order from Royalty Scents, the actual name of the scent will be on the bottom of your atomizer. So don't worry about feeling like if you lose the box, you don't know what it is. It's definitely on the bottom of your atomizer. This is MFK Aqua Universalis. Hope I'm saying that correctly. Let me spray this one again. Now you guys know, I don't think I've tried one single MFK fragrance that I have not enjoyed. So we knew I would enjoy this. This is an aquatic scent. I mean, the whole Aqua Universalis. This is a sweet aquatic scent. I did just get another MFK aquatic scent. I won't talk about that now. This has something sweet in it that smells really amazing. This one has a sweet note to it that I really like. I think this one, it's still unisex, but I think it leans a little more feminine. Crisp and fresh with a little bit of a sweet undertone to it. I really like this one. Now I can automatically tell that MFK fragrances are just made with an amazing juice because I feel this fragrance on my arm. It's made with more actual concentrated parfum, which is the oil, and I can feel the heaviness on my arm. So rest assured, when you do get these MFK fragrances, they last and last and last. Even the aqua line that is a little more herbal and aquatic and fresh, they still have great lasting power for what they are. So I definitely love this one and I will absolutely be wearing that. My third fragrance is by Maison Christian Dior and this is Rose Gypsy. Once again, same type of packaging but now we have a red atomizer. Now, this is one that I was really, really surprised by. Once again, I'm gonna spray it on my hand just to get my first impression with you guys. This just smells beautiful. Now, if you've watched my last Royalty Scents video or any of my other fragrance videos, you know that I live for a good rose scent. And the interesting thing is, the more I get into niche fragrance rose notes, they all smell different. I've never smelled a rose scent like this in a traditional market fragrance. This just smells beautiful like a freshly cut rose on the stem. This is a floral shop. This is a beautiful red rose. It just smells like, ah, oh, I get rose, I get intense green notes. Once again, the stem of the rose, beautiful. It just smells like a thorny rose, but in a beautiful feminine way. This is everything to me. And if you love a good rose scent and you just want to smell like a rose, definitely try this one out. Yeah, I just get rose and green notes. This is perfect for spring and summer. They really did well this month with sending me all scents that are perfect for this hot, steamy, balmy weather that we're getting. And if you love a good rose, I think you will really enjoy this one. Now I also like with this one that it doesn't smell like a little old lady. And I don't mean that to be rude, but you guys know what I'm talking about. Sometimes rose scents can lean very little old lady in her house with her cedar closet with her fur coat and mothballs. I don't know, I just really don't like that vibe. And a lot of times rose scents that I would get at my traditional Nordstrom or Macy's, they do give me that vibe when they mix with my body chemistry. This doesn't give me that. It's a nice, fresh floral scent, very green. This is great for everyday, super hot weather. It's light, but it's not too light. It's non-offensive. This is great for office wear. This is just beautiful. Okay, and my last scent is once again by Maison Christian Dior, and this is Jasmine Des uh, Angus. I'm not sure. I'm gonna link this one down below, but let's see my first impression. Let's see. We'll spray my hand. <laughs> Once again, this comes in a white packaging. I like how they kind of mix it up. And sometimes I feel like the packaging kind of goes with the scent inside. I don't know, maybe I'm just reading too much into things, but this is a really nice scent. This smells sweet, sexy, feminine, floral. It definitely has a strong jasmine note, but it's strong without being overpowering. If you know anything about like jasmine rice or jasmine notes and other fragrances, this is definitely a nice jasmine scent. 
very sweet. It smells like it has a little bit of citrus in it. It's beautiful, it's feminine. It's a more mature jasmine scent, but it definitely doesn't lean like a little old lady. This is beautiful. This smells amazing on the warmth of my skin. If you're like somebody like myself who heats up very easily, especially in this hot, balmy weather, and whom fragrance sometimes just doesn't last too long on, I think you will like this one. The projection isn't amazing. This just smells so feminine and beautiful. It's definitely the sweet and the most feminine one on this list. I think the jasmine note is just so interesting in this one versus the last rose one that I shared. That one's very light. This one has like a depth to it and it's just so beautiful. Yeah, I don't know. It smells almost like a jasmine and a pear. Like it's really, really sweet, almost bordering fruity, but not like in a childish, immature way. This is beautiful. I can't get enough of this. I was very surprised that I kind of like this one the best out of all of these. I think a lot of the other ones that I've shared today have similar notes in them. They're kind of leaning androgynous, I guess with the exception of the last Christian Dior Rose one. But this one just sets itself apart by being very a mature, sweet, pear jasmine candy like scent that just smells amazing when it warms up on your skin i love this one okay guys so those are all the scents i have to share with you today i definitely think my favorite is this jasmine scent i'm gonna wear this today matter of fact let me just spray it all over me now i know that i have other scents on today but it is just so beautiful and it's gonna smell so nice with the warmth of my skin you guys so definitely check out royalty scents Thank you to Royalty Sense for collaborating with me in another video. I'm going to link their site down below. A few of you guys told me last month that you did go ahead and purchase the subscription service and I hope you're enjoying it. I hope you're able to find some scents that you've maybe never heard of or some that you've wanted to try without really delving into. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know if you have any comments or questions down below and I will see you in the next video. Bye.